Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here again with another video. Um, I need to report over the stuff going on in Iran. It's definitely getting serious. Uh, there has been a red flag that Iran has raised over a mosque in their holiest city of Qom. I hope I pronounced that right. It's Qom in Iran. It's Iran's holiest city. And they have raised what is being referred to as a red flag of war, red flag of doom. Um, this is reportedly the first time in history uh, of the nation of Iran that they have raised this flag. And it's an indication of severe war to come. Which obviously, you know, the indicative of that is meaning war with the U.S., with us. So, just thought I'd get that, that you know, get that out there. Um, the red flag of war, they have raised that in Iran. Iran seems to be gearing up for full-scale war. Um, I also wanted to read some of the DEF CON warning systems uh, community forums. I will include a link to these forums in the description below. Um, Hezbollah in Iraq um, says, We will hit all U.S. bases in Iraq in the coming hours. Um, you know, and this was posted, uh, I believe they do 7... 7.16 p.m. Um, it says 7.16 p.m. the 4th, but it obviously isn't that time. I think they go by UTC. Um, I might be wrong there, but um, they're threatening to hit all of the U.S. bases in Iraq. Um, the U.S. Air Force RC-R135W and RAF Sentinel R1 appear in the skies over the Middle East to hoover up electronic messages and phone calls from Iranian forces and their allies. Um, the Netherlands has been added to the list of uh, nations asking their citizens to leave Iraq. First it was the United States. Um, Canada ordered all their citizens to leave Iraq. And now the Netherlands has joined that. Um, this is getting really, really serious. rest of the 82nd Brigade and the 26th MEW on the way to the Middle East here for the United States. So yeah, this is getting very, very real now. Um, the threat with Iran is getting super real, so that is why it's important if you have not accepted Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior, you do so immediately. Today is going to be your day of salvation. All you have to do is believe the gospel. The gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which states that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. Right? Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, If you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's grace through faith that saves you in these final moments of the end of days before the rapture. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9, For by grace are you, are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. This is getting very, very real. I don't think it's a cause to panic. Just understand that things are heating up significantly. And the Bible said that this kind of stuff would happen, that nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and you would hear of wars and rumors of wars, all described in the 24th chapter of Matthew. So just keep an eye on the things going on worldwide. Um, according to the DEF CON warning system, we still are at a DEF CON of 5. Um, obviously, 5 is good. Uh, 4, start paying attention. 3, start getting worried. 2, you know, we could be on the brink of nuclear war at any moment. And then 1 means something is ongoing. As of right now, our nation is still at a DEFCON 5. Uh, I personally believe we should be at a 4 because, you know, things could go any way. But just keep an eye on everything going on and understand that the rapture is imminent and tribulation is coming. We could be out of here at any moment, brothers and sisters. And that should be what drives you. So just wanted to get all this out here in regards to the current situation between the U.S. and Iran. Um, so I hope this video was a blessing to you all. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Otherwise, God bless.